So yeah, that's you back up from your first season down in London. What was it like? Um, it was it was the best like year of my life, like football wise. Like it was just like second to none. The whole experience, like training every day, my coaching. I was getting coached by like Arsenal ladies captain like every day, and she was second to none. Like just amazing. In terms of obviously the standard down there as well, what was what was that like? Um, the standard was good, really competitive. Um, no one was guaranteed a place. Um, training, everyone's. Like everyone's better than each other, like the days like you couldn't pick a, a better player out. Um just awesome, like brilliant. The, the tempo the training intensity. Just amazing. In terms of obviously like going forward your career it's where you want to it's where you want to be, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think um the academy obviously changing next year but I think it's changing for the better and the just the, the feel like the new manager in and things are going well. I think it's like the place to be in the next few years. From your point of view, you've been down there and you've joined so much and you've obviously learned quite a lot of your first year. How how sort of difficult is it for you in terms of knowing that it might all get taken away from you? Um, it, it kills me, like I don't like think about it. Because um, the football is like setting to none and I'm just waking up every day and doing what I love with like people. I've met some great people down there and it's just like there's never a day like goes by where like you don't smile, you don't laugh. It's just just, I don't want to go home. <laughs> there are a few things in the pipeline regarding, you know, the raising the, the finances last year, you know, we had a massive, massive uh, uh, purge on, you know, trying to get the, the money in for Lee. And, uh, you know, th thanks to yourselves and the paper, it was uh, picked up with an Arsenal blog. It was called Lady Arse. And from there, one of their, their massive fans, the guy that goes by uh, the Green Gunner, Victor, in Nigeria. It really helped with a substantial donation uh, and uh, the fundraising for last year and uh, such like, you know, we, we got this season uh, uh, massive help for the family, of course, but this is us, we're starting, starting all over again and uh, fingers crossed we have applied, as I said, you know, for a, a bursary for it. It's a lot of money to raise for the season, but, you know, if we can't get the second year in, it's, the first year's been a, a waste of time and she's doing really well. And that's what she wants to do, and as it's a family, I'll do everything we can to, to keep her down there, mate. Must be tough from your point of view, obviously, knowing that Lee wants to sort of stay down there, and it's an obstacle like this that's in the way. It must be quite frustrating for yourself. It's, it's very frustrating, and, and you know, I, I did think we'd get a lot more help uh, from associations up here. We'd apply to, you know, Sports Scotland and the lottery funding, and they just will not uh, give to individuals unless they're of Olympic standard and really within a chance of a medal at Olympic standard and it's it, it's hard to see a girl with so much talent going down there you know one of the biggest clubs in Europe and and she's she's struggling because as I said she has done really well uh, the seven girls that they, they took on at the academy last year they've loaned about five of them out so it's only lean another girl that they've actually kept in you know full time with them Thank you.